At least there's an elevator. Today we're checking out the East Village. Or at least what it's like to live in the East Village. But interestingly, this is one of those places where you get a clear shot of the Empire State Building. If you're anywhere else in town, you can't see it from this far away and on a non-elevated surface. Does anyone care? Only me. Interesting area. This coffee shop is held together with propaganda of all shapes and sizes. I don't get this one. A little Apple Instagram baby in a spacesuit. That's probably the point. But this mural over here, it's always getting spray painted and then they keep cleaning it off and restoring it to what you see. Check out this little boxing gym. They got these uh, old TVs. These must be VCRs or something playing here. I don't even, oh, 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 I know who that is. He's famous. According to Men in Black, he was actually an alien walking among us. Let's see what's in the community fridge today. Nothing. Come on, community. If you want to donate something, these are the rules. And it looks like they have an Instagram. I've actually heard that because of inflation, food banks and stuff are having a tough time. It's too bad. This is an interesting part of Third Avenue. You've got like weird art installations. This, which is probably going to become a restaurant. This, which looks like it's definitely a restaurant. Because you can see the outdoor dining. And we've even got an antique store. This place has been here forever. Look at all this. This dinosaur is super bizarre. It looks like it's been welded or bolted together from something. They've also got like weird crates and things. That mirror is definitely gonna be haunted. You can even buy a sink for your apartment. Check that out. And next door to that, you can buy yourself an espresso machine. This doesn't look like a showroom. This looks like the kind of place that'll fix the busted espresso machine at your restaurant. Look at that one right there with the burners. That's definitely uh, an older design. Believe it or not, this is one of the only welding and boiler supply places around here. And now that we're in like the heart of the East Village, that's something that's necessary. There's a lot of apartments. And just across Houston Street down here, you can get right over to the Lower East Side. The main subway line here is the second Avenue F train, so, you know, it is what it is. It'll get you most places pretty easy. But just look at all the restaurants and little places to hang out over here. It's crazy. Speedy Lock and Door Company. What's the fastest hey. you can get a stranded NYU student back into their apartment? I would say about 30 seconds to about two minutes. What's the most common way people get locked out? They forget their keys inside of their apartment. Whose keys are these? Are these keys that just people didn't pay for? They didn't work out? Oh, just, Is that keys to an apartment? Can I show it? Didn't work. Yeah, you can show them. <laughs> now next to the lock place, we got a little pizza place and like restaurant central. That's what First Avenue is over here. It's really a scene. Look at this place. On the outdoor dining, they have options that come from the menu. Speaking of apartments, when you see the street easy advertisements on public transportation, you know you're in busy season. They only run ads when the market's hot. That's basically May through July, sometimes a little after July. <laughs> Is this the best deli in the neighborhood? It's pretty good, man. I've been coming here the last couple weeks, so it's been really good, man. Yeah. They have a lot of sandwiches. This is right around the corner from the apartment. I feel like they have everything here. And look, they have cool blue neon lights. Oh, it's like a club or something in here. Here's a business for you. Pinky's Space. I think it's like a flower shop. Good morning. How you doing? What do you guys sell in here? Uh, food art house. We do rotisserie chicken. Wow. This is the outdoor dining. Look at this. It's like something else. I don't know where they got all the furniture from. Maybe I don't necessarily want to know, but you shouldn't ask questions that you don't want to know the answer to. Look at that. There's even a mirror, so if your apartment doesn't have one, you can come here and get ready. Actually, this is New York. I'm sure people do that. But not only is this place directly downstairs from the building where that we're going to which is over here there's also coffee the 
This is some of the best espresso I've ever had. And the name of this cute little place is the Lazy Llama. I would definitely make it a habit of coming here. Definitely Lower Manhattan. This is the place for just stuff like this. but look at this view. You can't get this anywhere else in the city. Look at this, that is so New York. If you're afraid of heights, you are not gonna like this one bit. Check out all the ivy on that building, but this north facing view, this is really cool. You can see some of the buildings way off in the distance in Midtown, but just overall, very interesting. It is kind of a long drop though, man. Also what's interesting, last year, this thing was being renovated and it looks like it's still not done. I guess that's a roof lounge for whoever lives in this property. That looks like a cool little apartment right there. Look at that, it's the only one with a balcony. And what's also crazy is we're in one of the cheapest apartments you can get anywhere around here. I just don't think you're supposed to hang out on the fire escape. This is a one bedroom apartment and the rent is $35.95. Honestly, this is a bright place. I don't even know if it needs these. This is the bathroom. It's really uh, strange. In fact, I think this is the opposite of modern. That being said, it looks like it's clean. Sink might not be your favorite color, but this is usable. Same thing with the tub. There's no mold. Tile and everything looks good. Perhaps they could uh, match the toilet seat a little bit better, but you know what? At the end of the day, I think it's pretty hard. Pretty hard to find a maroon toilet seat at the last minute if yours breaks. How do you break a toilet seat? That's a great question. Anyways, the bathroom is right there after you walk in. And this is the little entryway that I was struggling with earlier, but you know, it's got a great layout, this place. <laughs> look at this. This whole thing's very old. And look at that, many years ago, somebody put wallpaper in here. I think it definitely adds a nice touch to these little cabinets. Now these appliances, they might not be brand new, but they have to work. That's one of the rules in New York. The landlord has to supply a working set of appliances. And you've got cabinets here, beneath the sink, and over here. And there's even a little bar set up here. You could put some stools underneath that and you wouldn't even need a kitchen table. In the morning, you could sit here and eat your breakfast. But you know what? There's actually pretty good outlets here. There's two here and there's another two by the sink. So I guess you could put like a microwave or something on this if you didn't use it for a table. The common space here is really good. It's 14 feet by 12 feet. And what most people do in this layout is they put an L-shaped couch in this corner and then right across over here, this is where they set up their entertainment. Basically, you want there to be a clear path through the living space. And the last thing you could add is over by the bike, maybe like a little table in this section. So is the bedroom. It's 12 feet by 11 feet, five inches. Of course, it's nice and bright. You could easily fit a queen in here, plus a dresser and a desk. Now the security gates, some people aren't gonna be wild about that, but you know, it does cover the fire escape. You can leave it open if you want to. And I didn't actually know this, but if these aren't installed in your apartment and you want them, a lot of landlords don't wanna do it because they're actually really expensive. It's probably because they're really heavy and sometimes you have to like custom fit them if the windows are the weird size. Check this out, in the closet, we've got like an iron beam that will hold up your heavy clothes. Why did the last renter need that? What's nice is that it is a pretty big closet though. You could definitely fit a lot in there. And then above it, we've got more overhead storage that might be impossible to reach. If you wanna live here, check the video description, subscribe if you're not, and then pick something else up here or here. I will see you in the next video.